now available in paperback and Kindle Unlimited, The Man Crisis. Learn why so many men are struggling to find their way in an increasingly gynocentric world in The Man Crisis. Get your copy of The Man Crisis in paperback and Kindle Unlimited today. There was a tragic mass shooting that took place at Oxford High School in Michigan. And in this tragic incident, your 15-year-old Ethan Crumbly is alleged to have participated in a mass shooting where he murdered four of his classmates. Now, according to reports, your Ethan Crumbly had been participating in alleged disturbing behavior that had been identified by his teachers. And on the day that Ethan Crumbly allegedly participated in this mass shooting, his parents had been called into the school to discuss his disturbing behavior. Now, law enforcement is seeing this as an isolated incident, but when I take a critical examination of the behavior of Ethan Crumbly, it fits the pattern and profile I talk about regarding beta males in my book, The Man Crisis. And it's clear to me that your Ethan Crumbly definitely had a case of what I call in one chapter of The Man Crisis, beta male rage. Now, your beta male rage is something that flies under the radar of many people, especially many beta male fathers like your Ethan Crumbly, because a lot of beta male fathers cannot really identify beta male rage because they really aren't really looking for it because they want their world to be smooth and they don't want to deal with any sort of problems, conflicts, or obstacles going on. But many of your beta males who have beta male anger and beta male rage, many of these males oftentimes sit quietly simmering and boiling in anger for years before they eventually wind up exploding in a rage where they participate in extremes as related to the spectrum of violent behaviors. And it's clear to me that your Ethan Crumbly, while in, in his earlier years appeared to be this very friendly and approachable child, had the beta male rage and he was simmering and boiling in that anger for several years as he sat there writing in his journal and writing on a cell phone making plans to murder his fellow high school classmates. And this is par for the course when it comes for, to your beta males who have this rage. Many of these males will sit there and quietly in the background make their plans to do harm to others and many will be completely oblivious to those plans that these beta males excuse me, are participating in. And many people, they really don't know how to identify the warning signs as related to beta males because they don't really know how to pick up on those warning signs. However, two teachers at Oxford High School did notice the behaviors of your Ethan Crumbly and they started to want to go out here and do something about it. And I applaud those teachers for picking up on those warning signs because those warning signs are something that people really need to start taking a more critical look at because that's something I talk about in depth in the man crisis about looking for those warning signs as related to your beta males because a lot of these beta males it's not just that they're quiet guys it's that these guys really they don't really aren't really you can see that they're not really focused on anything and they have a real detachment from people. And your Ethan Crumbly, as I saw from his mugshot, was really detached from people, and he had a detached look in his eyes, and that is, again, another warning sign as related to your beta males, because they no longer are connected to the people, because in their rose-colored reality, they don't see people as people anymore, but they see them as targets to go out here and do harm. So instead of them seeing people as people like themselves that they should not do harm to, they feel like they have a justification for going out here and doing harm. And your Ethan Crumbly clearly had malice of forethought and contempt for his fellow classmates because 
he had sat there and wrote in a journal making up a plan to go out here and murder his fellow classmates and even talked about it in videos on social media before those videos were pulled. So clearly this this male had already been making plans with malice of forethought to do this for some time. Unfortunately, most people, they were not really, because he was in the background and appeared to be invisible to them, they didn't really notice what was going on with your Ethan Crumbly. But again, the two teachers did notice, but unfortunately, they did not get to him in time. But more people have to really understand that with beta males, the faster you start to identify these behaviors, the faster you can get this boy the help that he needs because it, this we're talking about lives being saved all because you have identified this behavior. And identifying that behavior, again, is the difference between life and death because this male, he's sitting there in this anger, in this rage, and his fuse is this close to going off, and the faster you catch that fuse before it goes off and put it out, the, the, you can, the more lives you can save. Because the beta male will sit there in that rage making these plans, and if you can catch him before he, make, before he implements them, then you can save a life. Now, when I look at this case also, I look at the social media that this boy used, and he clearly showed that he wanted to go out here and participate in this murder because he got on Instagram, I believe, and he showed the weapon, which was his a gun his father purchased on Black Friday, and planned to use this weapon to participate in this mass shooting. Now, you have people out there saying that the, the parents should have locked up their guns, but it would not have mattered because what would have happened was this boy was going to get a firearm and he was going to go participate in this shooting no matter what. Like Eric Harris and Dylan Klebold who had gotten illegal weapons to participate in the Columbine shooting, this boy would have probably gone out here and got an, an illegal weapon to participate in the shooting. So this is not about gun control laws, no. This man crisis is about the way we are raising boys. And it's clear to me that maybe Ethan's mother had some serious issues based on reports and that have been presented that she was a one of these people who was a fanatic for guns. And that might have also led to some of the issues that your Ethan Crumbly possibly had. Because as the first teacher in, in the home, when you have a mother out here who's a fanatic for guns, maybe she was also a fanatic in other ways. She also talked about support for Donald Trump. Now, I don't know if that's part of it, of things, but this woman must have had some serious issues, and it looks like to me the father might have been one of these beta males who was very passive from the way he was not taking care of business as related to his weapons, because this boy was able to gain access to the father's firearms, and usually a father, if he has weapons in his home, he in, tries to make sure that these weapons are secured and far away from his children. And if he's training his children, he trains them on gun safety so that they will not go out here and use those firearms to go out here and do harm to others. But this boy clearly was not taught anything as related to gun safety or looking to participate in any sort of gun safety. No, this boy was clearly angry at the world. He was simmering and boiling in anger for an extended period of time, and he wanted to go out here and hurt people the way he felt hurt. So your Ethan Crumbly clearly wanted to go out here and deliberately take the lives of his fellow classmates, and he wanted to go out here and hurt as many people as he possibly could. And this is why he was allegedly shooting at doors, because he wanted to go out here and murder classrooms filled with people. And what I thank God for is that this school did have kids who were trained on how to deal with a mass shooting. And this also possibly saved lots of lives, because without that training, many of those kids would not have known what to do, and they would have been targets for this beta male's rage and the extreme violent behavior he was participating in. Now, 
in the aftermath of the shootings at this school, your Ethan Crumbly has been captured and he is now being detained. And th this is where the beta male will wind up having to deal with the consequences of his actions and the consequences of his actions will be him being charged not only with four counts of murder because this is murder because he did plan this with malice of forethought and intention it is also him being charged with an act of terrorism because this was a terroristic act meant to terrorize and traumatize people so this boy he thought in his rose-colored world he would get his so-called revenge but now he's dealing with a reality where he will be going to prison for the rest of his life because he's probably going to be charged as an adult as a result of this matter and be, as being charged as a result in, as an adult he will probably wind up going to prison for the rest of his life and then and there he will be not he will not have to be with his getting into his father's cabinet in his home he's going to be winding up in a, a cell with Bubba and Tiny and he's going to wind up having to deal with a life where he's going to be working for 10 cents an hour, hoping to scavenge up enough money to be able to pay for Little Debbie snack cakes, Raymond noodles, and your Fritos chips and cups of coffee. That is his final fate because many beta males, because they're in their fantasies, they're thinking about getting revenge on people. But the reality is, is that if they survive the, these mass shootings, they are looking at life in prison and in life in prison, they are going to be in a place where they're going to be tortured for the rest of their lives by men like Bubba and Tiny, and they are going to wind up there for the rest of their lives. And now, your beta, again, this is not what your beta male was thinking of because they many beta males are in their feelings. They're very emotional males, and they're not thinking. They're thinking about the now and not the later. And now, Ethan Crumbly has to deal with the later as related to this mass shooting while many people grieve the loss of their loved ones and many people have to deal with the fact that this horror transpired on school grounds but this whole event just shows us how much worse the man crisis is getting in this country and how we really need more people to go out here and acknowledge the man crisis that's transpiring around us because each of these incidents are not isolated incidents. No, they, all of these people who participate in these mass shootings and other violent incidents, their behavior fits a pattern, their behavior fits a profile, and most people say that they don't see it coming, but those two teachers managed to see the behavior, but they didn't really be or able to pick up on the pattern and see the profile and this is why many teachers and school staff need to read the man crisis because once you read this book you will start to see this pattern and profile as related to beta males and maybe possibly many teachers can find and identify the behavior of a mass shooter before that individual goes out here and make and be is able to implement a plan that could wind up taking the lives of their fellow innocent classmates and finally find a way to start helping these boys be able to deal with their anger that they have before they go out here and participate in behavior that leads to them destroying their lives before they become a grown man now if you want to learn more about how to be able to deal with these types of beta males and learn about their pattern and profile for violence, you can pick up my book, The Man Crisis, on Amazon.com in paperback and Kindle format. You can also pick up The Man Crisis on Smashwords, the iBookstore, and Google Play. And The Man Crisis will open your eyes to see the kinds of behaviors that these type of males participate in, the anger that th these males have, the reason for that anger, and the reason for that rage that many of these males have and hopefully if after you read the book it will help you be able to help these males be able to break this pattern of behavior by investing time in helping them deal with their issues that will help them move their lives forward now if you want to see me make more videos like this 
You can donate to my Patreon, my PayPal, or my Cash App by clicking the links in the description box. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe. Now available in paperback and Kindle, Stop Simping in Cyberspace. Learn how to avoid predatory females like Instagram models and e-girls in their virtual con games with Stop Simping in Cyberspace. Get your copy of Stop Simping in Cyberspace in paperback and Kindle today.